will come a point where no job is needed. You can have a job if you want to have a job for sort of personal satisfaction, but the AI will be able to do everything. Welcome back to Which AI. Today we are going to use Gemini Pro in Google AI Studio. Google AI Studio is a web-based IDE where you can use Gemini and then you can export your prompts in any programming language, be it Python, Kotlin, JavaScript, any programming language which is supported by Google. Right now, this is the window which opens up when you open Google AI Studio from marketsu.google.com slash app. Right now, we uh, when you go here in the menu bar, you can create three types of prompts, free form prompt, a structured prompt, or a chat prompt, right? So basically, when you open this Google AI Studio, by default, a free form prompt will open up. We'll be looking at all three of them. Now, a free form prompt, as it says, lets you write a prompt as text and image for the model to auto continue. Okay. So let us use it and then we'll also see structured and chat prompts, right? Now, to write a prompt, you are having this uh, screen here, right? Where it's also giving me suggestions like paraphrase, create JSON from characters in a popular board game. So here you can write the prompt, right? And when you have written the prompt, you can run it from this option, okay? Now, you can name it also. Like, I will name my prompt as a test prompt. And you can also give a description. Now just save it. It will be saved. Okay. So let me write a prompt here. I'll write explain machine learning in five lines. Okay. That's it. I will just click on run and see it has generated this. Machine learning empowers computer systems to make informed decisions without explicit programming and five points, five lines, right? You can just press enter and it goes to the next line. Okay, and if you want to write another prompt, you can continue writing from there. Okay, I, I can write explain. Okay. Explain deep learning in five sentences. Now I just click on run and see, I get the response. Well. Done. That's it and you can continue so on. Okay. Now there are many options available on this window. Now let me explain them one by one. Okay, now, first of all, let us see this one, test input. What can you do with it? You can insert a variable by typing name and give it a value by typing this. Okay, let me explain it. Now see, I had first written here, explain machine learning in five lines. Then I had written explain deep learning in five lines or five sentences. Almost the same thing, I just changed machine learning to deep learning, then I can take AI, then I can take data science, anything, right? Now, instead of writing this line again and again, I can create a variable for this part, this portion, okay? How do I do that? Now, first let me remove this, okay. Now what I will do, I will just select this portion, machine learning, and I will click on test input, right? Now, instead of machine learning, you can add another test example and now you can write here deep learning. Now you can just click on run and it will run both the prompts. See, machine learning, this is the output, deep learning, this is the output. Okay. And you want to add any other input, you can do it. You can give here data science. This is the output for data science, right? So this is the test input option. Okay, now see here, in the run settings, you can see we can select the model. Now, basically we are having two models, Gemini Pro and Gemini Pro Vision. Gemini Pro will be for textual data and when you want to deal with some images, you can select Gemini Pro Vision. Then we are having temperature. Now, what will this temperature do? Creativity allowed in the responses. If you increase the temperature, it will increase the creativity, right? And if you're decreasing the temp uh, temperature, your creativity in your responses will also decrease and it will be more factual, right? Then we are having some more settings, safety settings, and output length. From output length, you can control the length of the tokens, 
okay, how many tokens should be printed? If I decrease this value to suppose say 100, okay, now if I try to test my prompts, then there should be some difference. See, the output was not completed. Revolutionizing industries, machine learnings, and then it stopped. Here also you can see deep learning algorithms can be used for both supervised and it did not complete it. It was not able to complete it. Why? Because I had decreased the output length. Okay. Then you are having top K, which again allows you to handle the creativity part. You can adjust these values and then you are having another option top P, right? which will again allow you to handle uh, how better responses you get, how creative responses you are going to get. So you can adjust these values and find the best match for your input, right? Now, here we are having save. This save option will save your prompt in your Google Drive, okay? And share, you can share your prompts. Get code. Now, when I click on this get code, what I'm going to get is I can get the code for all for the prompt that I have written right in any programming language okay like this is the python code and you can just click on open in collab right so it has opened in collab now all the code has been written according to what you had done here okay you can run the code from runtime you can click on run all okay but before doing that uh, if you see the code we are having uh, here something like api key user data dot get api key what is this api key you need to get your own API key from the Google AI Studio, right? You can click on get API key. Okay, so I can click on get API key. So I've created two API keys, which I can simply copy from here. And then you go to this uh, secrets where you can create any secret key and make sure that you do not share your API key with anyone because it's like a password, right? Okay, now let us use the Gemini Pro Vision model, okay? So I have selected the Vision Pro model and I will just erase this part. Okay. Now what you can do here, you can see here an option for image. You can add any image and then ask questions about that image. Okay. Like if I select some sample images we are having here, I will select the Taj Mahal and add it to my prompt. And now I, I can write a prompt here. Like I can write here, identify this monument and tell its location. Done. And now you click on run. So see, it has given me the output, right? So if you want to work with images, you can use Google Pro Vision, right? You can insert images by yourself by clicking on upload. Okay, right. Now let us create a structured prompt. Okay, so if you click on a structured prompt, okay, this window opens up here. Now, what is the structured prompt? When you want to provide some examples to the model, showing it how the responses should be given, how the output should be given, right? Then you can use structured prompt, right? It will structure the response in that way, in that tone only, right? So here it is saying optional tone and style instructions for the model, okay? And here I can add examples. Right now, let me give it a simple prompt. I will write, you are the marketing head at Google and Google India. Write catchy slogans for product. And now I will give here an input like, suppose for Google Maps, I want a slogan. Now I will also give the output, okay? How the output should be given for Google Maps. Find your way, find yourself. Okay, just a random slogan I'm giving. Okay, and you can write some more examples also like Gmail. Okay, done. Now, if I want to test it, now I want to test my model, I can just click on write a test input. Now, let me test it with uh, Google Colab. Okay, now if you want to run it, you can simply click on run. And let us see. So see, we get collaborate and innovate at lightning speed, right? If you want them in a certain structure, how the output should be given, 
you can just add the example you can write the output in that manner only and you will get the response in the same way right so if i write here suggest the top skills required for any profession for the given profession because the profession we will give now suppose it was given to be data scientist now you want the output in bullets okay so i can write a python machine learning okay and for a web developer i can write here html css okay done i'm giving this much only and now let me test it let me write here software developer now what you will see is that it will give me the skills in form of bullets only. See, Java, Python, C++. Okay, had I given the output uh, separated by commas, right? Then it would have given me the response in the same way, right? So now let us use a chat prompt, okay? So I again click on create new and chat prompt. Now chat prompt simulates a back and forth conversation with the model. Basically, you can create a chat bot like if you have seen chat GPT or Bard, it converses with you. When we had created a free form prompt or a structured prompt, it was not conversing with us, right? It was simply giving us the responses, the outputs. Now, if you want a conversational chat bot, right? Then you can click on chat prompt. And so this is the window that opens up. Write your prompt examples, test your prompt. So this is basically the same thing as the structured prompt. You can give some prompt examples and then you can test your prompt. Okay. I will tell him you are a creative writing assistant. Your job is to provide creative and innovative ideas for the user's story. Storyline. Right. And now either you can give what the model's response would be, or you can just uh, make it generate its it on its own, right? And then you can edit it all. So it is giving me some exam, uh, some stories. Okay, multi-dimensional doorway introduce a portal that leads to different dimensions. Okay, I will just edit it out. I will write great. What's your story done? And okay, now I will test it. You can write something that the user could type here. Okay, so I want to write a story. Could you help me? Okay, so it's giving a very long response. I want to edit it. Okay, so what I can do, I can click on this uh, add to examples and this would be added to my examples. And now basically I can edit it. So I'll write, sure, I'd love to help with, uh, help you write a story and what's this your story about? Okay, now let me again test it. Can you help me write a story? So it's again giving me a long uh, response and I can again edit it again test it with some examples right if you add more number of examples it would become better okay I'm not doing it but if you try to add some more examples at least five to ten examples then you would see that the conversation would happen in the way which you want it right so this is all for this video guys we discussed about free from structured and chat prompts Right, try to play with them. There are a lot of things that you can explore in this. In the next video, we'll be doing all of this stuff in Python using the Gemini API. Right, so subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and share this video. Thank you.